My name is Elise Luray. Uh, I'm an appraiser and auctioneer. State your name and title. My name is Elise Luray, and I'm an appraiser and auctioneer. What inspired you to become an appraiser slash auctioneer? Uh, what inspired me? Well, I went to school in New Orleans, and I used to walk around the French Quarter, and I saw lots of old, uh, beautiful old buildings and neat, cool things, and uh, that kind of inspired me to be an auctioneer, or to be an appraiser. And also, my parents used to uh, collect old cars and um, Native American Indian art before anybody else did. They thought we were crazy because we lived on the East Coast, so I was kind of uh, dragged around to flea markets when I was young, so that was kind of fun. How did you train to become an appraiser slash auctioneer? I spent uh, 11 years with Christie's Auction House. I was in charge of the collectibles department. I was also a business manager and developed certain new areas and new business. Uh, arms and Armor, Cowboys and Indians. I did French posters. Um, any markets that I thought were new and up and coming, I helped Christie's uh, develop. And for the auctioneering part, I, um, I actually went to school at Christie's for many years. Um, it was quite vigorous. It was tough. Um, I was kind of like, as they say, the valley girl, although I grew up on the East Coast, because I certainly didn't come from the English background that most people do when they get uh, on the auction podium. But uh, it was a lot of fun, and I learned a lot about auctioneering, and became one of the youngest auctioneers at Christie's. Um, and since then, I've traveled all over the country doing auctions. Tell me about the day you realized this is what you were meant to be doing with your life. The day that I meant that this was what I wanted to do, oh, uh, well, I don't think there was an aha moment. It just kind of start, started happening. I, I love stuff. Um, I liked auctions and Christie's because it's kind of like putting on a performance, which parlayed into television later on in my career. Um, I like people. I like to travel. Um, I like history. So that whole combination together made me really a perfect person uh, for antiques. And also when I was at Christie's, I, I did a lot of collectibles. And that's really the stuff I like the most because it's fun. Uh, everybody has them. You can relate to it. The, the, the prices aren't so outrageous that it makes the market smaller. It makes it actually broader because um, more people have them. And there's that emotional tie that you get uh, when, when you find that piece that reminds me of your childhood. And you're, oh, I got to have that. I got to have it. So, you know, all those things together kind of made me love what I do. But I love what I do. I wouldn't trade it for anything. What is the best part of your job? The best part of my job by far are the traveling and the people and the characters that I meet. Um, it's my eighth season with History Detectives on PBS and I, I can't tell you how much fun it is because everybody's an expert in this small little area that they either collect or they study and their passions are so unbelievable uh, and that's a lot of fun. And then um, meeting them, traveling, I've been to 49 states, I'm still waiting to go to Hawaii. But uh, I've been all over. There's nothing that I haven't seen. There's, there's, no, there's just so much out there that um, I've been to, and um, the people are great. It's always great to learn. Um, I do something called the Longest Yard Sale every year for HGTV, and it starts in uh, Chicago, or it starts in Ohio, and it goes all the way down to Alabama. That's really fun. I, the characters are the best part. I mean, the people are just outrageous, and they're so much fun. And everyone's just, you know, shopping and, 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 and collecting because they want to be there, and they, they have this great passion, and somehow we all connect to them. I've sold a lot of crazy and unique items. When you work for Christie's and you sell memorabilia, I mean, I've sold underwear. <laughs> I've sold a lot of personal items that people would be like, why does anyone care? But my favorite piece, and I don't know how unique it is, but it certainly is iconic, is... Um, I had the opportunity to sell the ruby slippers uh, when MGM actually in, many years ago had um, a contest and if a kid wrote a really good essay they won the ruby slippers. So we knew that these were real, they had really strong provenance and they had once sold at auction for about $100,000. They resold at this auction for close to $800,000 and then eventually sold privately for over a million dollars. And I don't think that there's a piece of movie memorabilia, or even if you think about it, United States memorabilia, our history, our culture, it's probably one of the most iconic pieces that we have. So I, I'm pretty happy that I got to sell that. Uh, next question was, what's my favorite part of, uh, what's my favorite thing to collect? 
I like to collect a lot of different categories. Right now, I'm really into kitsch. Um, I know modern is very, very hot right now, so I like to mix modern with old and kitsch 50s and 60s. I love going to flea markets and finding stuff and showing people how um, maybe a piece of folk art can look really good next, next to a 50s toaster or an, an old 50s uh, uh, kitchen table, I think is really hot and great right now. Uh, that's probably my favorite. It's the collectibles category that I love so much. Uh, things that you can find at a flea market, things that you can find in everyday life that actually have meaning and evoke a lot of emotion. Because, you know, it's always like, I love this because it reminds me of something that I did from my childhood and it makes me happy and it always has a funny story to tell. So collectibles are fun. I enjoy it. Um, it's the hunt. And so that's probably my favorite area. What do I collect? Well, I would collect everything if I could because I love stuff. But um, actually, I'm standing in front of one of my collections. I collect Marx Brothers posters. My son's names are Matthew Marx and Zach Marx. They're the Marx Brothers. And uh, about 10 years ago, before I actually even had the kids when I was married, my last name was Marx. So I started collecting Marx Brothers posters. And then, lo and behold, I had two, two boys. So I, all over my house are Marx Brothers posters. Um, I also collect sports memorabilia for them. I ran the department for Christie's for a while, so um, I have a lot of sports memorabilia. I, co I collect Luray China, which was made in the 30s, um, around the same time as Fiesta Wear. American made, lots of, lots of colors. At that time period, they were trying to change the way the dinner table looked. They were trying to make it fun and bring in colors and make it a happy time. So I collect them and they're in my kitchen. Um, I probably have about, I don't know, three, 300 pieces of Luray China. It actually says Luray, which is my last name, on the bottom of the China. I have a nice collection of um, Native American um, artifacts throughout my house, but mostly that was given to me by my parents. Um, and I like silver, I like jewelry, um, and I, you know, I kind of go through phases of collecting something, then not collecting it. I had a, I have a bulldog, I collected bulldogs for a really long time, then I stopped collecting that. I collected Maitre de la Fiche for a while with my mother, who now has a very big collection, which are French posters, um, that were, were put out in a series at one time, so I'm, I'm kind of all over the place. And, and my taste changes a lot also, but I would say I'm really a Marx Brothers collector. What charity auction have you worked on that you enjoyed the most? What's the most money you've raised at an auction? There's no charity that I enjoy the most. There's a couple that I continually do throughout the year. I always do um, the United Way of Miami. It is a wine auction. I'm a wine auctioneer, and I do a lot of wine auctions, and I'm, most of them are all for charity. That one probably raises about one million to two. I do Chesapeake Wine Auction um, in November every year. That's an educational charity in Virginia Beach that raises close to a million dollars. I do uh, Brooklyn um, Cancer, American Cancer Society, Brooklyn. I do that every year with Stacy London. We have a great time together. We're a really good team. She gets the people to bid. You know, she goats them, and I'm the auctioneer. I do Jacob's Cure every year. Um, I'm doing. I was just hired to do um, ovarian cancer in New York. They're doing a big wine auction this year. I used to do ovarian cancer for a very long time. I spend a lot of time doing charity auctions. I don't have a favorite. Um, I've sold millions millions throughout this country. I'm very well known in the charity circuit as an auctioneer and um, it, it's dear to my heart. So um, I travel all over the country to raise money for charities. List the television shows for appearances you've had and how comfortable are you on camera? Well, I mean, obviously I'm very comfortable on camera. I could talk forever. I'm very comfortable on the podium. I could auctioneer forever. Those are the two places I feel that I I'm, I'm, was kind of meant to be. Um, I... I am currently on History Detectives, which is a PBS show. There are five hosts. I'm one of them. Um, we just concluded our season, season eight. It's on Monday nights at 9 o'clock. I shoot the longest yard sale every year for HGTV. Um, it is shot in August, and it's about I help people shop at a yard sale. I also used to do for them something called If These Walls Could Talk, which is where people would actually tear down their houses and find stuff, and I would appraise it for them and tell them what it was worth. I did the Antiques Roadshow until I got my own show on PBS. I used to be the expert appraiser on the early morning show when Brian Gumbel was on it. Um, what else? I used to work for Metro TV. I had a show on um, Madison Square Gardens, which is MSG, about sports memorabilia called Bid New York. 
Um, I've been an expert um, on CNN, CNBC, ABC, NBC, pretty much the, all the networks at some point or another talking about collectibles and um, memorabilia.